Imagine a garden where plants don't need soil to thrive. Welcome to the revolutionary world of hydroponic gardening. This innovative method flips traditional gardening on its head, allowing plants to grow in a soilless environment. It's not magic, it's science, and it's changing the way we think about what plants need to flourish. This hydroponic revolution is opening up new possibilities for gardeners and plant enthusiasts around the globe. Ready to explore this soilless wonder? Dive in with us. Hydroponics isn't a new age concept, it has a rich history and fascinating science behind it. This method of cultivating plants, intriguingly, dates back to ancient civilizations. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, is believed to have been a hydroponic system. The Aztecs, too, developed a form of hydroponics, creating floating gardens called chinampas, on the surface of lakes and marshes. Fast forward to the 19th century, when scientists started to understand the role of nutrients in plant growth. German botanist Julius von Sachs and Wilhelm Knopp developed the technique of growing plants in a nutrient solution, a key aspect of modern hydroponics. Then, in the mid-20th century, hydroponics took a giant leap forward with the development of plastic, allowing for the creation of a variety of hydroponic systems. But how does hydroponics work? How can plants grow without the soil they've been rooted in for millions of years? The answer is quite simple. Plants don't need soil. They need the nutrients that soil provides. In hydroponics, these nutrients are directly delivered to plant roots through a nutrient-rich water solution. This method allows plants to absorb nutrients more efficiently than they would in soil, leading to faster growth and higher yields. Water plays a vital role in hydroponics. Not only does it carry the nutrients, but it also provides hydration for the plants. The water used in hydroponics is often oxygenated to ensure the roots can breathe, further promoting plant health. The beauty of hydroponics is that it lets you control the environment. You can adjust the pH and nutrient levels, control the temperature and humidity, and even manipulate the light cycle to optimize plant growth. All these factors which might be unpredictable in traditional soil gardening, are under your control in hydroponics. So, the key to hydroponics is not soil but water and nutrients. Exciting, isn't it? Now, how about setting up your own hydroponic system at home? First up, let's talk about the essential components you'll need. These include a reservoir, a grow tray, an air pump, and a nutrient solution. Don't worry, we'll walk you through each one. The reservoir is your water storage tank. It's where you'll mix in your nutrient solution, providing the lifeblood for your plants. Size matters here, so choose a reservoir that is large enough to hold enough water for all your plants. Next, we have the grow tray. This is where your plants will sit, suspended in the nutrient-rich water. When choosing a tray, consider the size of your plants. You want to ensure they have plenty of room to grow without overcrowding each other. Now here's where the magic happens, the air pump. This device oxygenates the water in your reservoir, ensuring your plant's roots aren't starved of this vital element. You see, in the absence of soil, roots need extra oxygen to absorb nutrients efficiently. Lastly, the nutrient solution. This is what feeds your plants. It's a carefully balanced mix of minerals and vitamins that your plants need to grow. Remember, in a hydroponic setup, your plants are entirely reliant on you for their nutrition, so it's crucial to get this right. All right, now that we have our components, let's set up our hydroponic garden. Start by placing your reservoir at the base, filling it with water, and adding the nutrient solution. Then, place the grow tray on top of the reservoir. Install your air pump and connect it to the reservoir. Next, place your plants in the grow tray. Make sure the roots reach down into the nutrient solution in the reservoir. Now, all you need to do is turn on the air pump and voila! You've set up your hydroponic garden. Remember to check your system regularly. Monitor the nutrient levels, pH balance, and water temperature to ensure your plants are in their ideal growing conditions. With these steps, you're all set for your first hydroponic experience. Did you know there are various types of hydroponic systems, each with its own benefits? Let's delve into some of the most common ones, so you can identify which might be the perfect fit for your green thumb. Firstly, we have the wick system. This is a passive hydroponic system, which means it doesn't require any moving parts. In this setup, plants are placed in a growing medium, and wicks connect this medium to a nutrient solution. The solution travels up the wicks to feed the plants. Pretty simple, right? It's an excellent choice for water-loving plants and beginners who are just dipping their toes in the hydroponic waters. Next up, we have Deep Water Culture, or DWC for short. In this system, plants are suspended in water with their roots submerged in a nutrient-rich solution. Air stones, similar to those in a fish tank, provide the necessary oxygen to the roots. 
DWC is a great option for fast-growing, water-heavy plants like lettuce or spinach. Then there's the ebb and flow system also known as flood and drain. It works by temporarily flooding the grow tray with nutrient solution and then draining it back. This mimics a natural tidal system providing plants with a balanced supply of oxygen, nutrients and water. It's versatile enough to accommodate a variety of plants from herbs to larger fruit-bearing varieties. Lastly we have aeroponics, the most high-tech of the bunch. Here plants are suspended in air and their roots are misted with nutrient solution. This system allows for maximum oxygenation, promoting rapid growth rates. It's best suited for plants that love a lot of air and a little moisture such as leafy greens and herbs. Remember, each system has its unique strengths and is better suited for certain types of plants. Think about what plants you want to grow and how involved you want to be in the process. Do you prefer a more hands-on approach or a set-it-and-forget-it style? Choose a system that best meets your needs and the requirements of your plants. In the end, the best hydroponic system is the one that makes your gardening journey enjoyable and your plants flourish. Hydroponic gardening requires special attention but don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's dive into some essential tips and tricks that will help your soil-free garden thrive. First off, plant care. Hydroponic plants need the same basic things as soil-grown ones. Light, air, water, nutrients and some tender loving care. A good rule of thumb is to ensure your plants get at least 6 hours of light every day. If you're growing indoors, artificial grow lights can do the trick. Adjust the light intensity and duration to mimic the natural daylight pattern for best results. Now, on to nutrient management. In a hydroponic system, plants get their nutrients directly from the water, so it's crucial to maintain a balanced nutrient solution. A standard hydroponic nutrient mix usually contains essential elements like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, along with trace elements like calcium, magnesium and iron. Remember too much of anything can be harmful so avoid over-fertilizing. Monitoring pH levels is also a must. Plants absorb nutrients best when the pH level of your solution is just right. For most plants a pH between 5.5 and 6.5 is ideal. Use a pH meter to check regularly and adjust as needed. Troubleshooting is part of the journey, so don't be disheartened if you run into issues. Yellowing leaves could indicate a nutrient deficiency, while wilting might suggest overwatering. If your plants aren't growing as expected, check the basics first. Light, nutrients, pH, and temperature. Sometimes a simple tweak can make a world of difference. Lastly, cleanliness is key. Keep your system clean to prevent the buildup of algae and harmful bacteria. Regularly check and clean your pumps, pipes, and reservoirs. Remember, a clean system is a happy, productive system. Armed with these tips, you're ready to grow healthy, vibrant plants in your hydroponic garden. Remember, patience is key. With time and a little trial and error, you'll be reaping the rewards of your soil-free garden in no time. So let's recap what we've explored today. We've plunged into the innovative world of hydroponic gardening where plants thrive without soil. We started with a brief history of hydroponics, tracing its roots back to ancient civilizations and its evolution into the efficient and sustainable method we know today. We unraveled the science behind it, understanding how plants can absorb nutrients directly from water and why this method can potentially lead to faster growth and higher yields. We then delved into the practical side, walking you through a step-by-step -step guide to setting up your very own hydroponic system at home. It's a process that requires a bit of initial effort but promises rewarding results. We also compared different hydroponic systems, discussing the pros and cons of each, so you can choose the one that best suits your needs and the type of plants you want to grow. And of course, we didn't forget to share some handy tips and tricks on plant care and nutrient management. We touched upon how to troubleshoot common issues that could arise in your hydroponic garden, ensuring your plants stay healthy and vibrant. In essence, we've shown that hydroponics is not just about growing plants without soil. It's about harnessing technology and innovation to create sustainable, efficient and rewarding gardening experiences. Hydroponic gardening is a fascinating journey. So why wait? Start your soil-free gardening adventure today.